What's up YouTube, Maniac here. It's just gonna be me and you guys today. Uh, sitting outside of the optic house, just enjoying, enjoying the nice weather before it starts snowing and me hating life. So I watch YouTube videos. I, uh, I check out some of the other guys' pages. Always in the comments, I see people saying, who is Maniac? Who is that guy? Who's the guy in the background? Is that Scump's brother? Who the fuck is that? Someone will reply, that's Maniac. Who the fuck is Maniac? Did Scump start lifting again? Well, today, I'm here to answer your questions, guys. I'm gonna try to give you all just basic ass answers about myself, uh, let you guys know who I am, where I come from, and uh, what hood I rep. Oh God. No guys, I'm not Scump. I'm not related to Scump, but that is the homie. So first off, what's my name? Nick Kirshner. What is my gamer tag? Maniac. What the fuck am I doing at the Optic House? Well, I'm a pro player for Optic Halo. Yes, Halo has competitive tournaments and such. I've been going to tournaments for Halo since 2007. Uh, I've been playing the game well over 10 years. Uh, it pretty much, pretty much took over my life. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, Flame Sword was affiliated with Optic. Um, before Halo kind of made its return just recently about five months ago I'd say uh, I ended up joining the Optic Halo squad they told me I was more than welcome to come out here um, I, I, I was really interested in starting doing YouTube um, just coming out here starting to stream I didn't do any of this stuff beforehand so yeah about five months ago I moved out here and it's been nothing but good times ever since I've been streaming doing YouTube obviously um, and uh, yeah, we're going to tournaments. Right now our Halo team is myself, Maniac, Flame Sword, Assault, and we are actually currently looking for one. The Halo season doesn't start up for about two more months, so uh, we're kind of just relaxing, making videos, um, hanging out, and whenever it gets closer towards the season, I mean we still are looking for a fourth right now. We're uh, Mike's currently not at the house. When he, whenever he gets back, we will be looking for a fourth. So yeah, guys, that's kind of how how I landed my my spot here at the Optic House. A little bit about myself. I am 24 years old. Uh, I'm about six foot tall. This is kind of weird. I don't know why I'm even making this video. Uh, I don't know. What what would you guys want to know? No, I'm not related to Scump. Um, I do have red hair. I prefer a light brown, but some call it red. Some call it ginger. I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I absolutely love the red hair. Anyways, where is I going with this? Yeah, um, 24 years old, six feet tall, 185 pounds. I was born in Hagerstown, Maryland. Um, it's not really a small town, but it's not a big town either. Uh, it's a well, I was gonna say it's a pretty nice town, but it's actually on like the top shittiest ratings of America. It's like one of the highest like obesity and like drug area it's it's pretty bad yeah i grew up in a decent area decent suburbs um i actually i was born in hagerstown moved to west virginia when i was i don't know like six i lived in falling waters west virginia until i was about 13 and then i moved back to hagerstown throughout my entire school life i pretty much played sports um i played football from like I don't know, like 9 to like 12 or 13. I was honestly really good at football. I wish I would have stuck it out. Even though I didn't really grow much, so I probably would have got shit on in high school. But I also played basketball. I played basketball from like 5th grade to 10th grade. So yeah, I was always very active in sports. As you can tell by my shirt, you might think I'm a baseball player. It says McDonald 2000 five baseball classic i did not play baseball i have no idea where this shirt even came from i probably shouldn't even have worn it for the video i've had this shirt for like 10 years i think it was one of my friends so yeah i always played um football and basketball uh, i played basketball up until 10th grade um i actually moved from west virginia to maryland around then uh 10th grade i it was my first year at the new school I was like, shit, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta make some friends somehow. So I tried out for the basketball team. I made the team. Didn't, uh, I wouldn't really say I played too much. I did end up injuring my back. Um, just, I think I was so out of shape from just gaming all the time. I did end up injuring my back. 
But uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I was I was riding the bench. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't play too much. I scored a couple points in the season, but I didn't play too much. But yeah, that was my last year of basketball. After that, I was like, fuck that. But honestly, I probably didn't even deserve to. I di I didn't play basketball ever. I played video games. Oh, I got practice. Okay, I guess I'll play for a little bit. But other than that, I'd never. I didn't touch a basketball after I found Halo. So yeah, I guess tenth grade. Uh, 11th grade came along, I think I failed a class. 12th grade came along, I think I actually was trying to convince my mom that I wanted to drop out. Thank God that she didn't let me do that. Um, yeah, graduated. Right after I graduated, I went into college for a semester. I'm not sure how I did, but I didn't go back after that for another year or two. Then I went back again, then like took a semester off, then went back again. So I was kinda, I've just been on and off with college this whole time. Never really stayed consistent with that. Um, during that whole time, I was doing the whole competitive Halo thing. I was making decent money at it, so I wasn't I wasn't too, I don't know, my, my focus just was not in school. It was just always towards Halo. Um, I did actually have jobs on the side. My first job, I was a dishwasher at Bob Evans. That lasted about two weeks. And by that, I mean two weekends, which maybe three days total. Yeah, never went back after that. Then I got a job at a place called Martin's Grocery Store. I was actually a cashier there for two years. Uh, quit there, I think. I, I quit because I won the 2009 National Championships. Quit there, then got another job a year or two later at FedEx. And I worked at FedEx for, I think like a month. And then I quit there, because that was literally the hardest labor job I've ever had. I might get called a pussy or something, but honestly, if anyone works at FedEx doing package handling, that shit is terrible. I mean, I also worked there in the middle of the summer, so it was just 90 degrees, working inside of trucks, no air conditioning, like, fucking barely drinking water and they were just always on your ass about hurrying the fuck up so yeah i ended up quitting there and then i i got a job shortly after that at a place called food line which i worked for i don't even know maybe like eight months or something i worked there and then i quit there just recently before i came out of here so uh i guess i've had a few jobs on top of my halo winnings um i don't smoke cigarettes i don't like tobacco uh, I, I drink every now and then I like video games sometimes. I love music. I always spend most of my time. What the fuck? You guys hear that? I think that's a bug. I always spend most of my time usually just laying down, uh, listening to music, doing absolutely nothing. I always get on YouTube, uh, look up random ass shit. I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV shows, I don't watch movies. I don't know why, because a lot of them I do find interesting, but I don't know, I just, I never, I don't know. I don't, I just don't. About six, seven months ago, I started really getting into fitness. Really at first, I was just into working out. I didn't really give a fuck about my diet. Um, but just recently, I've been more more conscious about my diet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm recently just been really getting into fitness. Um, I don't like running though. I don't like stretching. Um, I, I, I enjoy lifting weights, but that's about it. Actually, I don't even really enjoy that. I just enjoy the, I guess, the muscles that you actually get from. It. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what I enjoy. I don't enjoy. <laughs> I guess it seems like I don't really enjoy too much. Um, I like being outside even though I fucking burn and probably burnt right now on my right arm. Uh, I guess to get a little more personal, I had said this in another video, but I do have um, three brothers, one sister, uh, you know, some cousins and shit. Uh, I have a really nice family. I have, a, I have a lovely mother who might be watching this video. Uh, greatest mom on earth. Not to get weird or anything, just to let you guys know, uh, my dad actually did pass away in 2011. Um, it sucks. Shit happens. Uh, I, I guess that's life. But, yeah. Well, now the video is depressing. Not really. I mean, shit happens. I uh, just gotta live with it. My mom and dad got divorced. I don't know how old, I was very young, maybe like four or five or something. I have no problem with people getting divorced. If you don't get along, don't force yourself to get along for the kids. I don't I don't think that's healthy. 
Um, yeah, I would visit my dad like every other weekend. Uh, that's kind of how I just grew up with my mom the whole time, visit my dad every other weekend. My mom did get married afterwards. She is now very happy with who she is married to. Can it be more happy for a uh, really great guy? I don't know, man. What am I talking about? Uh, just, letting, just letting you guys know, you know, a little bit, a little bit about my life. I literally can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm nice on some rollerblades. Shit, I felt like I ended the video a little depressing, but I can't really think of anything else. All right, guys. Well, I gotta go take a shit. I hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a, a little bit about myself. Hope, hope it was uh, interesting. So I should have some interesting videos here in the uh, next few days. So stay tuned for those. But thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.